The 40th annual Toronto International Film Festival is here, and so is the annual challenge of trying to make the most of its many cinematic offerings. With nearly 300 features and dozens of shorts on display, even the most dedicated and sleep-deprived movie junkie couldn't see everything in the fest's 11 days. I find it hard just to narrow down a few titles that I'm looking forward to. But here goes anyway with five of the films I'm most eagerly anticipating at TIFF 2015. The Martian. Andy Weir's best-selling novel about an astronaut stranded on the Red Planet was an absolute page-turner. I call it real-fi rather than sci-fi because the science in it was so realistic and logical. Ridley Scott brings it to the big screen with Matt Damon as astronaut Mark Watney and Jessica Chastain leading the team of fellow space adventurers out to rescue him. Scott directed Alien, Blade Runner, and Prometheus, and if anyone can deliver the far-out thrills, it's him. Son of Saul. It's 1944 in Auschwitz concentration camp, and Hungarian Jew Saul vacantly does the evil work of his Nazi masters in order to survive. But a sudden family recognition rekindles the spark of conscience, and Saul must take action. Poet and actor Geza Rolrig plays the title figure in a magnificent performance directed by Laszlo Nemesh in this sobering stunner about the Holocaust and one man's struggle to regain his humanity. Hurt. One-legged runner Steve Fagno raised millions for cancer research and became a national hero through a successful sprint across Canada in the mid-80s, all by his 20th birthday. Today, at a disillusioned and angry 50, he can barely make the rent, his Order of Canada has been revoked, his family life is in shambles, and he rails against a country he feels has abandoned him. This tough but compassionate doc by Toronto's Alan Zweig shows just how far down a fall from grace can really be. Beasts of No Nation. Terry Fukunaga, who directed the memorable first season of True Detective, plunges into another heart of darkness with this fact-inspired drama of the scourge of children forced to become mercenary soldiers. It's set in an unnamed West African country, starring Idris Elba as a brutal warrior leader and newcomer Abraham Atta as his reluctant protege. Advanced word is that it's very hard to watch due to explicit violence, but it's a must-see regardless. Keith Richards under the influence. It's only rock and roll, but Rolling Stone Keith Richards obviously still loves it as much as he ever has in his six-decade-long musical career. Morgan Neville, who made the backup singer doc 20 feet from stardom, promises to give us the highs and lows of this most beloved figure in popular music. As a die-hard Stones fan, I can hardly wait to see it, and also Keith himself when he appears at TIFF for a post-screening Q&A session. Ticket details for these and other TIFF films are at TIFF.net. For the Star.com, I'm Peter Howell.